Hey everyone, it's Jake with another iMovie tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to use your inspector tool. So first, you need to go to File. Um, no, I'm sorry, Movie, iMovie Preferences, and make sure Show Advanced Tools is checked. That not that that's going to help you, but just for our later tutorials to make sure that you um, have the right tools to go and do whatever we're doing. So here's what we're going to do. Right in this menu right here, you'll see the ins the little eye with a circle around it, and you click that. That's the inspector. Oh, sorry. you got to click your video that you want to be a part of it. So you click the inspector. Now, there's a bunch of things you can do. There's clip, video, and audio. Right now, I'm going to be working with the clip. So you can make you can change how long the video is, like to trim it. You can choose a video effect. So let's say I, d I don't want just a regular old thing. I may want aged film or romantic or <laughs> vignette where you know you can just pick what you want to make your video unique and cool or you can add an audio effect and you get a Google Plus, I'll send you a Google Plus invite that's what I sound like when I have a telephone I would do the um, pitch up <coughs> here I'll here how about this thanks for letting more people in pitch so yeah, this is Google Plus. And remember, just leave your email in the comments down below, and I'll send you a link. Um, a link to Google Plus. So yeah, yeah thanks, thanks for watching. watching and I'll see you guys. So it's just something fun that you can play with. Um, and also here in the speed, you can do convert entire clip. It's gonna take a second to convert the clip. And converting a clip means you're gonna. You're going to um, be able to change how long and slow the video is, which I bet a lot of you guys know how to do. But I'm just going over all, all these things for the iMovie noobs out there. <laughs> Almost done. Okay. And once it's done converting, you'll see a little thing here pop up. The turtle obviously means slow, and the rabbit means fast. So what you do is you can just click over here like that to make your video slower I mean faster or over here and you can just see how the, me the movie expands and um, also if you if you are doing a t some sort of time-lapse video where you want it to go faster I've noticed that you can uh, I played around with it and you can actually go to 2,000 times faster and now my video is really fast but it's more of like a time-lapse video something that you would want and you can also direction reverse and start from the end, whatever you feel like doing. Also, I'm gonna go now. I'm gonna go to the video inspector part. So here you can change just the way your video looks, like the different tints and everything. The way, just like um, the color correction, kind of in um, Final Cut Pro, Final Cut Express, everything. So this is basically just like the color correction if you're using it. Obviously, the saturate. Okay, I'm gonna actually. You know what? I'm gonna start from the top. Here is where you're changing the overall color. Overall, you can bring it in more. Let's say I want to bring it in, and just you're just trying to find something that you like. Okay, and then I can go to the exposure. Now this is like how much um, light you put. It puts on it. Um, brightness basically I think just kind of takes out all the things in your video so I wouldn't play with brightness too much the contrast just how kind of crisp your video looks like how nice the picture looks saturation I really do like this effect because I wanted maybe I want it to be a little bit more colorful so I'm gonna bring saturation up a little bit up higher now you can do the here's the red gain the green gain and the blue gain just to help you out um, it's not working so well because it's the video this video that's working up here because it's not like um actual outside shot and then here's the white point and the white points I wouldn't mess with too much it's more of like a thing where you can just change the overall color of your video and then at the end if let's say you don't like what you did revert to original and it's back to the original now I go to my audio, 
And here you can change all the sounds that you can do um, on your video. You can bring the audio up or down. You can do fade in, which is a really good effect. Um, like, let's say, you can fade in longer, fade out longer. And that just basically brings your audio up slowly in, into the audio, like this. Hey everyone, it's Jake with another... Whoa, <laughs> I forgot I changed the audio. Now, you do. You can enhance your your background noise. You Usually I don't like my background noise, so I take it away like that. And so, that's the inspector. If you have any questions or anything like that, you can email me at jakesawesomevids at gmail.com or leave a comment down below. Be sure to like this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you. Thanks and bye.